What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. And today, uh, I just want to talk about some news that broke out over the past few days. And I'm a little late to it. Uh, I've had to work. But uh, we just found out that Naughty Dog canceled its The Last of Us Factions game that they've been working on. Which is, uh, well, not surprising. <laughs> it's not surprising, man. Um, I want to make a video on this. I, I don't really have much to say about it. I know there's people really looking forward to this. I, I don't want us to make it sound like that you know you're foolish for being excited for it because I think it had potential. Um, and matter matter of fact, uh, me and Jan talk about it on the latest episode of the Deadhead Podcast, episode uh, twenty. Uh, sorry, episode thirty nine. Uh, and uh, we kind of give our give our thoughts on it. And I, the way Jan explained it was, he was looking forward to a game that he could play, uh, a multiplayer game he could play, just kick back, relax, and play a cool multiplayer game on on PlayStation. And that's the way I was looking at it too. Just a cool, calm game that I could just turn on and just and just play anytime I want to. That was I was looking forward to that, um, but I didn't really care. You know, I, I'm one of those. I've never been a big factions guy. I know there's a, I know there's a community out there for it. I don't know how big that community is. I don't think it's I don't think it's a big community. Um, but let me know down in the comments if you if you have been playing uh, uh, if you have been playing the, the Last of Us factions uh, expansion or uh, multiplayer in the original uh, Last of Us. So anyway, with that being said, let's get into this article right here about Polygon. I just kind of want to go over and to see if there's some real reasons and, and why it was canceled. Um, and I figured I had the article up on the screen, so I hope you guys can see it okay. Um, you might have to squint a little bit. And if, if, if you can't really see it, also, I'll put a link down in the description as well, and you can kind of look over it as I'm talking about it here. So, Naughty Dog cancels. It's the Last of Us multiplayer game. The Last of Us Online scrapped after years of development. Um... Let's see, Naughty Dog's playing multiplayer game set in the world of The Last of Us is no more. The studio announced Thursday that it has made the incredibly difficult decision to stop development on what it's been calling The Last of Us Online. We know this news will be tough for many, especially our dedicated The Last of Us Factions community who have been following our multiplayer ambitions ad ar ardently? I don't know. T -t Today, Junior? The studio said in a post on his website, we were equally crushed the studio as we were looking forward to putting it in your hands. The Last of Us Online was at one point supposed to be revealed to the public this year. The studio had released a handful of pieces of concept art for the game, but never showed gameplay. Naughty Dog said developers at the studio had been in pre-production on The Last of Us Online since the development of The Last of Us Part 2, which it shipped in 2020. The online game was unique and had tremendous potential, the studio said, but it was also a daunting task that did not have the resources to dedicate to. In ramping up the full production, the massive scope of our ambition became clear, the developer explained. To release and support The Last of Us Online, we have to put all our studio resources behind supporting post-launch content for years to come, severely impacting development on future single-player games. So we had two paths in front of us, become a solely live service game studio or continue to focus on single-player narrative games that have defined Naughty Dog's heritage. Um, I think we'll stop right there. Let's let's go back to what I let me. I'm gonna read that again, just so because this is the big thing that I that stood out to me when I first saw this. In ramping up the full production, the massive scope for our ambition became clear. The developer explained to release and support The Last of Us Online, we'd have to put all our studio resources behind supporting post-launch content for years to come, severely impacting development on future single-player games. So we had two paths in front of us become a solely live service game studio or continue to focus on single player narrative games that have defined Naughty Dog's heritage. So from what I'm reading here, and listen, you know, again, if you're looking forward, if you were looking forward to this game, I, I feel for you. I know how it is to be excited for a game and it gets canceled. But at the same time, you have to be somewhat hopeful of this because I like that last line here. Like, you know, to go back to it, uh, we to release and support the last full line, we'd have to put all our studio resources behind supporting post-launch content for years to come. So what does that sound like to you? That sounds like live service. And we all know live service games are trash. There's not too many of them out there. I don't think there's any out there that I can think of personally that I'm like, oh man, that's a great freaking game. No, I, 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 there's none. There's not, there's none. There's no... Uh, live service games out there that are being successful right now. Look at the Avengers. The Avengers game had mad potential. It could have been great. Although I wasn't really a fan of them. You know, again, kind of like what the DCEU had done. They felt like they had to cram all the heroes together instead of giving them their own individual movie. And just, they were like, oh shit, you know, well, 
Marvel's already done this, so we got to catch up to Marvel. So let's just throw everybody together, even though we have no backstory in these characters and we don't have love for any of these characters. And let's go ahead and make our freaking Justice League movie. And it makes no sense. It makes no sense to do that. The same goes with 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 live service games. It's just one of with with the Avengers live service game. It's like they try to cram all these heroes together. And didn't really give us time to really like each one of these characters. Like, we know these characters. We know the Hulk. We know Cap. We know Black Widow. We know these characters, but we don't know these version of the characters. So when you just cram them together, it's like, it, it just it, it just failed. It failed bad. It's not a bad game by any means. I've, I've played it. It's, it's decent. But look how bad it failed. Live service games are not good games. It's not a great model. I don't understand... See, what it is, we've been talking about a lot, of, a lot of GTA on the channel. GTA Online is such a big service. It's such a huge game, and it's held people's attention for so long that it's it's really fucked with other games and other developers because they want that moneymaker. They want to have that game mode that generates income for years and years and years and years. But the problem you have there is a lot of your games feel shallow. As great as GTA Online is, and I'm not saying it's trash. Listen, I don't play it, but I'm not going to sit here and say it's trash. I can't get into it. I can't get into it. It feels like it's so monetized. you got to have so much money to do shit in the game. And and they give you an out. Buy shark cards. And people do it. And they've made, and I, I don't know the exact number. Maybe you guys don't know in particular. And I, I don't, I'm lazy as hell. I'm probably looking it up. <laughs> I know they've made probably about a billion dollars off of that. If not more than that. On GTA Online alone. They have straight up surpassed the budget they use for GTA 5 at this point. And that's probably where a lot of the money is coming from for GTA 6. That's why GTA 6 is so gosh damn am am ambitious looking to be. It's because look at how much money they have. And they got all that money from their from their live service mode. Um, and, and like I said, I, I'm not shitting on GTA Online. Matter of fact, that's probably the best way to do it. And I know that sounds controversial, but... GTA Online is 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 a good product. It is a it is a, a a a powerhouse, right? As far as in the industry when it comes to live service, but every developer is now trying to copy that, and I just don't think they're thinking about the consumer. They're thinking about okay, how can we make the most money possible? They're not. That's why games have really taken a dip over the past few years. You got your big budget games that have a lot of love into them, like God of War Ragnarok, right? That's one thing you gotta love about Santa Monica Studios. They give you a product that has so much love and 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 attention to detail. And, and I like look 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 what they just did. They just released a Valhalla DLC for God of War Ragnarok, completely free. Look how much story. Look how much hours you can put into that. And it's for free. And if they if they slapped a price tag on that, I would have bought it in a second, just like much of you, because you know what you're gonna get from this. You know what you're gonna get from this developer. A lot of these developers are trying to follow suit. And The Last of Us, just to get back to that, because I know we kind of went on a little bit on a tangent here. Uh, the Last of Us Factions was a very unique, fun multiplayer mode. I, I played it a few times. I was like, okay, this is all right. I like I love the I love the combat. I love the resource management. I like being a part of your team working together. I, I it had a really great like dynamic, you know. It, it's not like it did anything really uh uh New, it didn't bring anything really new to the table, but I think it just did everything really, really well. And it's a whole community of people that still play that. They still play it every night after work or whatever. They're hanging out with the boys. They're having a couple drinks. They're playing a Last of Us Factions. It's it's a cool game mode, but I just don't think the 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 crowd density for that game mode is that impressive to me. I, I don't think there's a lot of people that are playing it. I, I don't think so. Again, there might be a lot of people coming here and go, hey, dude, I play this shit every day. Hey, okay, and that's that's fine, and I hope you're having fun. And if you were looking forward to this, I'm sorry. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we know what Naughty Dog can do on a narrative front. We know what Naughty Dog can do with their single-player stuff. So really, for me, when I hear this news, you know, uh, to, to release and support, to release the sword lassos, we'd have to put all of our studio resources behind supporting post-launch content for years to come, severely impacting development of future single-player games. That's their bread and butter. For me personally, that's more what I want. Again, gaming is not for me. I understand multiplayer is a big thing. There's people that make hundreds of thousands of dollars who stream Apex and Call of Duty Warzone and Fortnite and things like that. But when I look at Naughty Dog, I look at a, a triple A studio that brings single player narrative driven video games with 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 great gameplay 
and and that's really what I want. And honestly, I've never really, I was never really excited for this. I was excited to see new characters in the world. I was excited to see the the story behind these characters. But like I was saying in my latest episode of the podcast, I was telling Jan that it's hard for me in a multiplayer game, even if a multiplayer game has story, it's hard for me to really enjoy that story when I have to play it like uh, cooperatively, cooperatively with someone else. I don't know if anyone else is like that. Like I like let's say for instance, if I'm playing. Uh, Borderlands, right, with another person, and I'm trying to go through the story. Not that the Borderlands is some enriching, great narrative, you know, it's not like a gripping narrative or anything, but if I'm trying to really appreciate the story, it's hard for me to appreciate it when I'm playing with somebody else. You get what I'm saying? I- I've just always had that issue, and that's more of a me thing. I get it. That's a me problem. Um, But I'm fine with this. I am fine with this. Just to, just to put a little nice little bow on this whole conversation. I don't want to sound ignorant anyway. Listen, if you're looking, if you were looking forward to this, I, I'm sorry for you. I really do. That really sucks. But I'm not. I'm. I'm honestly not disappointed in this. Um, I think that this makes way for more single player experiences, uh, which is what I think Naughty Dog has done more. Has been more than capable of doing. Um, I am interested to see what's next. I'm interested to see if they ever do uh, try to attempt to make a. Uh, another multiplayer game. I think Sony needs a multiplayer game for sure. I mean, they, we don't, they don't really have any, um, and, and and they should. And I think that's what everybody was looking forward to was that Sony could have a good multiplayer game because it feels like all the – and I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I'm not a big multiplayer guy anyway. But I feel like a lot of these games feel kind of samey now. It's Battle Royale, and it's just – it's not – I don't know, man. I feel like that game mode, it, that should be left in the fucking past. Uh, I do like the factions try to switch it up and makes it different. And I think that could have been interesting to see and, and with modern hardware, uh, modern visuals. And, um, yeah, I, I, and setting the world, The Last of Us signed me up. I love that world. And and, and I uh, I think it could have been great. But you know what? I am looking forward to seeing what is our next project. And, uh, yeah, I, 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 still, I, still don't, I still think Naughty Dog is, is top of the food chain when it comes to making narrative-driven uh, stories. And, yeah. Uh, this this only gets me more excited to see what else they got working on. What else? What has this game? Been, you know, because they had to put their attention on this online element. What they you know they've been working Last of Us online for a while. Now that they're not worried about that anymore, they can focus all their attention on these uh, AAA titles. And and I'm looking forward to see what they have for us. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you still play Last of Us factions? Um, and, and just let me know your thoughts about this news. I just thought it was interesting. I wanted to cover it here on the channel. Uh, let me, again, let me know your thoughts down below and, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Stay dead, my friends.